welcome back to the Lee Kempner House. I'm here with Heather. Y'all have met her before. And we have something really exciting today. She's been scouring the country for the missing hardware. And she's got two boxes. We're going to unbox and go try it out and see what works. So take it away, Heather. Very exciting. <laughs> I believe this box all came from Pasadena, California. Okay. Um, I know, right? Yeah. Very exciting. This is not so exciting, but yes, this. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, it's got a key. This is the vestibule or the vestibule doors. That's the missing lock for that. And then we've got. Oh, it's one of those buttons of yes. lock. Very fancy for 1893, I would okay. say. <gasps> oh, pretty. And what pattern is this? Remind me, because somebody. This one is the, the Salem and Salem. Plymouth. Salem and Plymouth both used this knob. And I think so did the one that we're missing. Um, I don't know what is the name of that one. Um, let me get my book and I'll tell you what that one is. Hold on, hold on right back. Let me get out my list. Salem. Yeah, it's one of the two. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got... These are heavy. These are nice. Oh, they're well, they're all cast bronze. Everything is cast bronze in this wow. house. So we have the Yellentown, the Salem design, which is, is the that one that's... One? Well, that this knob can go with Salem. Oh, Salem. Okay. It can also go with Plymouth. And then we've got the two doors on the bathroom in the Guilford. So they use this oh, so knob... so the same knob, but a different back plate. Okay. Right. So they, they got kind of, um, they got and tell kind them of how you how you found out what they were. So. Okay. So we had just a couple of pieces left. Like we had a window sash left and we had the front door side, one side of the front door left that had the two knobs and the actual locking mechanism. And time out. There is a little black square on that, right? Yes. Okay. Because okay. Joe and I have a problem with not turning oh, the gosh. video on. Okay. But we have a new videographer who okay. knows who knows <laughs> what she's so doing. So, uh, so anyways, yeah. So basically, um, I sent a message out to the great people on a Facebook page called Antique Doorknob Collectors of America, and there's a really great guy named Paul who runs that site, or he's one of the moderators, and. He uh, almost immediately started working to identify what we needed and figure out what it was. And he was instrumental in developing this spreadsheet here that shows everything that we're missing around the house. With you know, we went Jenny. Because Jenny and there's I went, a lot. There's not there's just a like a big one and a little one. There are a lot of it's, size nuances and there's tons, depth of the yes. door and how far away. Yes. From the edge and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. There's so, lots of details that have to happen. But anyways, we're missing, you know, lock pieces. We're missing um, doorknobs. What I think we're going to have one of the hardest things. Look, there's even a, there's a strike plate, strike plate. which is fantastic because we're missing strike plates. <laughs> they you know, even you put screws in it for us. Yes. They, nice. And they <laughs> sent us some extra screws. Oh. This is oh. the rosette for the front door, for the back of the front <laughs> okay, door. I'm blown somewhere. away because down yes. at the Lucas and the ones I've always seen are stamped sheet metal and they're real thin. Yes. And this is, this is like bronze. super thick and heavy. Yes. This is, this you can, is, you can just feel the difference. This is mansion quality <laughs> hardware. They didn't play around. So now these are the two lock sets for the hall door with a key. With a key. God bless them. And, and, you know, and this is for all the from, hall door, the bathroom, mm -hmm. and the this bathroom is all door. From Pasadena okay. Architectural Salvage. They did a fabulous job Thank looking you, through their, Architectural Salvage. through their squares. And then this is for, so this is hall and the powder bath. Those are the locks, but we don't Oh, have, the hall. I was uh -huh. thinking of the powder bath when you said hall, but yes. there is a door yes. blocking the um, yes. fancy it's, part of the house from the right. servants part of the house. So that's okay. what those two are. And All they're right. here. That was the P2320 lock, but okay. we we're missing the Guilford plates okay. for that. So we're All doing right. pretty good. So box so one. There's that. Now I have one other little box here that's got some more goodies in it. These are from... <gasps> oh! Yes, that is one of the... Let me see where I got that from. That is a pocket door. <gasps> two pocket Yes, doors. we have two pockets. Yay. And that's the Salem pattern. 
And those came from... And that the from, Salem is the same as the windows. It's this little sunburst These came on from the top. Omega. Omega, Omega. Salvage. O-H-M-E-G-A. Omega Salvage is who provided us with these guys, which was awesome. awesome of them. Now, you know, when you have a pocket door, you know, one side will have the locks and the other side will have with no lock. Oh, I see a goodie. I yeah, have to reach now, in this is, ah! I'm not sure something that we can use, but this was the one that was donated to us. And this has the little This Plymouth. is the other pattern. This is Plymouth. This is not one we're looking for, but he sent it to us in case we need it. And this was donated to that us. That was donated. The gentleman was and happy that we're restoring an old house and that we're nonprofit, and he gave that's it right. to us. And absolutely, he gave us these as well. The and these are the big, we need one big one. Or the front, door. the front door, and then what happens on the front door is on one side it's big, and on one side on the inside Small. it's little with the rosette. And then this, I found this little guy off eBay. This is one of the pocket doors. <gasps> oh. That's a pocket door mechanism. So this is all I have so far. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of work for a small amount, but we're going to is, that is get after it. Huge. So what we're going to do now is take because these don't always fit in every that's right door opening these doors were cut and made just as specifically so, for okay this. so we can't try this unless we get this out of here yes, so we have right. to figure out how that comes out it looks like it's screwed in maybe there's some kind of a way it's screwed in here yeah not really sure on that maybe this well, has well, to sure. loosen it's threaded here i think mm -hmm. it may uh, you have to take mm -hmm. this off and it looks like there's a screw here going in that mm -hmm. holds this tight so we'll have to remove this loosen that screw and then probably turn yeah. this yeah and, but yeah so this is for pocket um oh wow mm -hmm. right yep that's how they work so there you go so okay i'm confused as to how that works what does it latch into well it's not it's the finger pull this is just the finger pull I never knew such a thing existed. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the old antique hardware. So instead of having, you know, because once it's inside the door, mm -hmm. you can't grab onto these. These are tucked back behind the wall. And so, so what you've is got the to key have, for? How does, what is the lock? Because there's not another mechanism. Oh, is it under the tape? I think it's under the tape. See, oh, it's under the it's tape. It's under the tape. There's the little lock under okay. the tape. Okay. So, well, obviously my finger can't, <laughs> it's not strong enough. Okay, awesome. So, yeah, that's how they did it. So that way when the door is tucked in, you don't have any... Way to grab it and pull you have it to out. Press right now I stick my finger in the open that's hole right. and pull it out. Okay. <laughs> so that's how that works. Well, that makes sense. So shall we go try these Let's go. and see yeah. if they sit Come on, Sherry. Our... <laughs> Let me just do a quick refresher of why we need the hardware. This house was burglarized and someone stole a lot of the hardware. We have very little left here on the first floor but you can see the outline of what was there. Here are the pocket doors that are missing. And we do have a couple of pieces of window hardware left, so we know what that looks like. And most importantly, we have one front doorknob complete with the rosette. So this has been kind of an exercise and sleuthing to recreate what we need and search for that. And Heather has been on the hunt. Now, the reason we've unpacked everything today is we have to fit everything to the location that we think it belongs because there were actually many, many manufacturers of very similar hardware. Ours is Yale and Townsend, but it's not always marked, so we don't know that we're getting the exact right thing. And it doesn't matter that much as long as it looks appropriate and it fits. But there are a lot of nuances, especially in the door locking mechanisms, because there were many, many sizes made for the width of the door, how far back from the edge of the door the lock mechanism set, and we need to see if everything works, and then Heather will update her list and send it back out and see if we can get what's missing. And if things aren't exactly right, if we can make it work, that'll be fine. Here's just one example on that Plymouth Escutcheon plate that we're looking for. There's four different sizes, and in the size that we need, the large size, 
there are four different configurations based on the type of lock set that goes in it. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different lock sets that are possible. So you can see why it's confusing to get exactly the piece that we need and why the list has to be so very specific about measurements. So that's what we're about to do. I've got a knife. Hold on. I know. I love old hardware. I think it's so fabulous. Okay. Okay. So here Let's we go. Cross our fingers. In it goes. And it looks like it was completely made for that slot. Even. But no, it doesn't even come. The, any, even the screw holes line up. It doesn't up come that. anywhere close. It doesn't come deep enough, does it? See if you can flip it over upside down. No. Maybe the, this one might. What about that door flip over it, there? Flip it over because the key. I don't think it's, I don't think oh, this one's deep no, enough. No, because the, it's not oh, because enough. the key wouldn't So be. it is yellow in town. This one I got off of eBay for not much, and I couldn't tell. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this one, so we're not going to sweat over it. However, if we can't make it where the lock works. Well, even if the lock doesn't work, it would look appropriate. It would look appropriate. That's right. Okay, so now these guys, this is supposed to go in here. Yeah, on the side? No, nope, that's not the locking side. All right, let's try again. It's rounded on the back, and these ones are square, but it's, but it's the right size. Look at look how it fits the circle. It's just whatever was the backs of these, they had them square and not round. But it is the right one, <laughs> except that one's round the back. Well, we can, on we can chisel out the opening a little bit more. So this one is definitely the Yale and but town. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I mean, it's because at least it's exactly it's, the right pattern the and right the right size and shape. Yes. And what's nice too, these doorknobs, they have the original set screws still in them. That's so. amazing. Just did all that and I wasn't filming <laughs> back oh. in there. Oh, oh sorry. No. All right. That's the main of my existence. Yeah. Yeah. That one's very close and somebody's notched this wood. To make the key fit mm -hmm. so it may be that the carpenter miss drilled and there's still room yes for the mechanism in here so we'll just have to get the plate we'll have to get the plate at some and point and see but these are supposed to be the ones that go here so and the thing that is really cool about this kind of hardware from that day is that if you need this piece to be reversed, you just open it up and you flip, flip it, it over mm -hmm. and then you can change the direction of your, that's how this kind of hardware works. So mm -hmm. anyway, so that's, that's where we're at so far. <laughs> Hopefully we'll collect some more. That's great progress. Let's go try the front door. All right here. Go. Now this is, this is Salem, but you this can is see not this is this. small. Mm -hmm. But it's the right pattern. It's that's just the right not pattern. a piece of hardware that's on our list. But he graciously bought it. But we will find a place to use it because we have all of uh, the basement yes. to do. That's right. So I think that, that we will find a place is right. So this, I mean, look at that. That it did have this keyhole and that's for the doorknob. So that's right. So that's perfect. I mean that. I think Here's that's. The center. Let me yep. Put my pinky the center. I think this one's going to be right on the money. We'll just have to. <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's heavy. There's the center. Okay, let's try again, and I'm going to hold on to it better. Oh, wrong way. There's the center. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. I think it's the one, and it looks like over here. Yeah, it looks like it goes right in there. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, this stuff is so heavy. Okay, well, that looks like a so winner. That, so we have the, the so, big doorknob. Yeah, but. and what's really unusual is that if you look, see, this is that Plymouth pattern, and then on this side, they switch to the Salem pattern, and then that's what goes in through the, the hole. hole inside is this rounded Salem pattern. Um, and so this is so what, this is, the rosette. this is, yes, this is the rosette we're looking for. And it's, this is, is deeper. It's a little deeper. Yeah, they sent me what they had based on this photograph. So it's it's pretty it's close. It's small. it's a little smaller, but it's darn close. And it is Yale. At least they left all the big heavy duty hinges. These things are amazing. Is it locked? No, it's just there we go. So see how this is bigger and this is smaller. 
Yep. So there's the big guy. That's, that's perfect. It's perfect. It's exact. Oh, and I never noticed with this rosette. On the, on the face of this plate. I guess that's not a rosette. That's mm -hmm. part of the plate. No, it's a rosette. Is it a rosette? It is. It's, it's, it's separate. It's just an extra fancy piece that they have here. And this is, this is in the lock position right now. Is that intentional? It's always like that. Somebody kicked the door and that's why it's broken. Here. Ah, of course so they did. They I had a locksmith come and rekey it for us. And then I have a piece that broke off. Right yes. Door. It's right there. Yep. That did some serious damage. All right, so I'll close this back up. And I have had no hits on these pieces. Those are those sliding locks that were missing. We have one remaining, which showed us what it was here, this guy. So, um, and that one's got a little swirl to it. Um, so we'll have to see if we can look. And look, that the screws are gone, but they didn't get it out. They didn't get it out. The screws are missing. They got the other three, though. There's um, some really unusual hexagonal hardware that's back here in what would have been called like servants' hall area, right? And it, um, it's on one of these doors back. Oh, it's on that one. Okay, I knew it was back here somewhere. It was a lot of. There it is. Oh yeah, so that's a little different. It's not the same as this one that I had here, and that's six. We spent another 15-20 minutes walking around looking at other doors that had missing hardware trying to see if there were any clues as to what went there and there really isn't. It seems to be a hodgepodge of things and maybe things that were broken or misplaced or that they rusted through because back here they didn't use cast brawn. They used less expensive knobs because again like the rest of the house this wasn't the showy part of the house. It was more utilitarian back in the servants area. So it may be that we just have to pick a style and go with it based on what we can find or I don't know I tend to be a little eclectic maybe it's a chance to do something different on every door and show off the various styles of Victorian doorknobs so we'll see what we do going forward. The Lee Kempner House was too special to be owned by any one person so a nonprofit was set up with a mission to return this amazing house to its original glory and make sure it never falls into decay again. The doors will be open to all who want to come visit and learn about its place in Galveston history. You can be a part of preserving this house for future generations by donating through our website, leadkempnerhouse.org. You can also find a volunteer sign-up sheet on the website if you'd like to get directly involved. All the work that's being done is documented here on YouTube, and just by watching these videos, you're also playing a part in saving this incredible property. So don't miss out on any of the trials and tribulations as we tackle some big issues. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up with our efforts. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time here in Galveston, Texas at the amazing Lee Kempner House.